a crash course on Python. This video series is dedicated for basic Python learning and then we follow these video series with machine learning and deep learning on Python. To get started on Python, please go to python.org slash download slash windows and download the latest release for windows. Once downloaded, it's a pretty easy installation and then install Python. The latest is 3.7 which I have downloaded and installed on my machine. Just do vanilla installation. Once you have it downloaded, go to your start menu and here you will have IDLE Python. This gives you Python terminal and all you have to do is just see if it is working. So 4 plus 2, 6, yeah, this is good. This is working. Now let's download the IDE for Python. Go to Google, search for Python IDE and on the list you will see a lot of things like Wing IDE, PyCharm, Stanis Python, Spider and so on and so forth. You will get a lot of things. Download any whichever is useful. It doesn't matter. ID environment for Python is the same. I like PyCharm. So I have downloaded PyCharm Community Lightweight ID. So download PyCharm, install PyCharm and this is how you install the PyCharm default no changes. Once done, open PyCharm. This is my PyCharm Windows IDE. Go to File and Create New Project. Here, type my project. Python, do it yourself. And click on Create. And say OK. You can see Python IDE created but underneath this is nothing. Right click again, say new Python file, repeat, right click new Python file and give a name, first Python script. Please note that the extension of uh, this file is .py and this is first python.py. Here, you can write print this is python do it yourself tutorials and once done save it so select this line and run this. If you're not able to see these buttons, go to view and then say run. You would see all of these windows icons. If you're unable to run, select the line, right click and say run fi first Python. Control F9 is the command. Once you run it, you can see that the output is this is Python do it yourself tutorials. So print is a statement in Python which shows you or which prints anything which you have written inside the double quotes. You can do like this as well for integers 4 plus 2 and then run this. You can see this is Python do it yourself tutorials with number 6 which is the addition of 4 plus 2. So in the second video we are going to talk about some basics of Python programming. Thank you for watching.